Decay factor and decay rate of an exponential function. So we have an example here. It's definitely a decaying exponential function because the point 80 is less than 1. So we come over here and make our little chart of a few values here. When x is 0, you get the initial value of 10 because point 80 to 0 is 1. Uh, when x increments 1, you get 1 up there in the x, so you get 1 factor of 0.80. So the new value is 8, and the previous is 10. So the new value is 80%, or 0.80, of the previous. It also dropped 20% to go from 10 to 8, because 20% of 10 is 2 and 10 minus 2 is 8. So those things go together. Uh, cranking up to the next one, it's 0.80 squared. So there's two of those. So you have the two values of 0.80, but that's 8, the previous, times 0.80. So it's 0.80 times the previous gets you 6.4. So the next value is 0.8 times the previous. That means the decay factor, the factor that you're hitting at each time to get to the next one, is 0.80. So the next y value is 0.80 times the previous. That's 80% of the previous. But it also means that the y values are decaying, dropping, by 20% each time. They're going down from 10 to 8, from 8 to 6.4, they're dropping by 20% every time. So that gives us this nice little formula, formula here. Decay rate is 1 minus the decay factor. So for example, the decay rate for this would be 1 minus the 0.80 is the 0.20, which is 20%. So it's not decaying by 80%. The decay factor is 80%. That's the number you hit by it, but it's actually dropping by 20% from 10 to 8, 8 to 6.4. 20% of 8 is 1.6. 8 minus 1.6 is 6.4. So it's dropping by 20% every time. All right, so that's the relationship here. And then why the 1 minus, but I kind of explained it. Let's explain it a different way. 80% of y to get to the next value is the same as y times 1 minus 0.20, because it's always going to be a 1 because the point is under 1. 1 minus 0.20. If you distribute in, you see that you have y minus 0.20y, which is y minus 20% of y. That's the very definition of dropping by 20%. 20% of it subtracted from where you were. So it's a decay rate of 20%. So the total recap of the two, growth factor and decay, in comparison is growth factor is the base of the exponential. Decay factor is also the base of the exponential. The growth rate, though, is the growth factor minus 1 and the decay rate is 1 minus the decay factor. So if you study the videos, you can understand why each of these are, and you won't get them mixed up.